guys and thanks for stopping by my channel so today's video is the least exciting one i guess that i do um it is my bark box yes but titus is excited he will be when he gets his toys bark box if you don't know is a monthly subscription for your dog because why not they make subscriptions for everything these days BarkBox has actually been a while, around for a while though, and they deliver, usually the regular box is two toys, two bags of treats, and one chew. But because Titus is so picky, they worked around that with me, and instead of getting the edible things, he just gets toys in his box. Now, I had thought <laughs> that I purchased this on his birthday in September last year, or whatever, something like that. So I was not expecting them to renew my membership and they did in July. So I thought about it and I was like, you know what, let's just do one more year of it. And then in a year from now, we'll see because we are kind of on toy overload because my dog is a Chihuahua and he doesn't really uh, like damage his toys very much. So we have a lot of toys laying around that he just gets tired of because he's very spoiled. Um, but instead of like ha going through the hassle of like getting a refund, I was like, all right, we're going to do one more year and then I am uh, canceling of the auto renew. And then when the time comes, if I feel financially like I'm good with it, I'll purchase another year because, you know, it is a it is a bill. I think I forget how much it was. If I can remember when I'm editing, I will put it down below how much I pay for one year of BarkBox, which is for me, it's three toys a month. Is it worth it? I think as a hermit <laughs> who doesn't like to go out that much, it's nice to have something come to me. And I think I'm paying a little bit extra for that service and the little surprise that Titus gets to have. Um, if you're a penny pincher and you know you can get cheaper toys elsewhere, no, obviously it's not worth it. But for me it is, it's fun for us, but because I now have this new financial thing in my life, which is called a car, a brand new midlife crisis car that I have, um, I do have to rethink some things that I, you know, spend money on. Uh, so, but I said, you know what, no, Titus can have one more year. Also, for those curious, Titus is going to be having surgery. Um, he's still wearing that. He's going to be having surgery at the beginning of September. And I'll tell you why. Um, Titus, come here, honey. Come here. We're going to take this off. That's in another video in the future. <laughs> um, so Titus has, this is my dog. If you guys are new to my channel or if you're not new and you just want to see him, he has a lump right here on his shoulder and it has grown it's still very small it's kind of hard to show i could feel it it's hard it's not attached to anything but me being you know a very Ooh, do you guys hear that it's thundering um me being a very like overprotective and responsible pet owner that i am i want to make sure that he's okay he's only three he'll be ugh, he's gonna be four in september no, my puppy. Um, but uh, we, we are going to have that removed. And then um, after that surgery, like a while after that surgery, which is going to be expensive. I already, we already talked about the pricing and stuff. Um, but after that, he is going to need a dental, which I was trying to avoid because chihuahuas have horrible teeth. They're just genetically predisposed to have bad teeth. Also, fun fact, the same, like, sh the same gene that makes a dog hairless, like, uh, for example, a Chinese Crested or a, sh a Sholo or however you say it, I'll insert pictures, um, the same gene that makes them not have hair also gives them bad teeth. Did you know that? I'm pretty sure that's true. I feel like if I say anything with enough conviction, you'll believe me. <laughs> so look it up if you don't believe me. And if I can, I'll show something that shows that I'm not making this up because I know I read that somewhere. <laughs> Anyways, that's not why we're here. Anyhow, we're here because I got a bark box and we're going to open it for Titus. But 
you know, I always like to add some extra information that nobody asks for. Anyways, each month is themed, which is fun for me. Titus doesn't care. Dogs don't care if it's themed, but we do. And they're catering to us really, right? So this theme is Space Jam because there is a new Space Jam coming out, a new legacy. So look at that. You guys like Looney Tunes? I used to love Looney Tunes when I was a kid. Like, am I showing my age? Maybe just a little. But I also watched Tiny Tunes. And Tiny Tunes was like the next generation. So I was like, I'm like in between the Looney Tunes and the Tiny Tunes generation. Anyway, shout out Tiffany. So we got, is this LeBron James? Yes. See, I know things. I know sports people. This is Le LeBron James. And I know that the first Space Jam was Michael Jordan. And he played for the Bulls and his number was 23. I don't care for sports, but you know, some things you just know. Um, so anyways, um, let me bring you down here because Titus decided he wanted to lay down. What do you think of LeBron? Um, this is for you, honey. You don't like it? This is LeBron. Look at his face. He's got some attitude. He's like, mm-hmm, okay. Toon Squad. Okay, so we've got this toy, and then we've got Tweety. No, stay. I know it's I know it's thundering, but you'll be okay. But look, what? But look at this. This is for you, honey. Here. Hold on. I gotta take this plastic part off, and then you can have it. Wait a minute, I'm gonna take the plastic part off. But this has a big squeaker in it and a little place for you to, it's got crinkle feet and then you can like hang on to that, no? Okay, um, and then we got Bugs Bunny. That, what did they do to his face though? <laughs> like Bugs though. Um, it is Bugs, it's not like one of his relatives. Okay. Well, that's cute that he's holding a ball. So he's just crinkly. And then he's got his ball here. You really should make those easier to cut off. What do you think, honey? You like it? If I like threw this across the room, would you play with it? It's yours. It's yours. Look, he can ride you. Look at that. What if I just did a video of this, just like this for 10 minutes? Like, <laughs> oh, Titus. I know that's what everyone would do. They'd yawn because they'd be so bored if they didn't click out. You look really bored. Am I boring you? Are you okay? Anyways, do you want to go get that? Do you, okay, okay. So he got that. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so that was my bark box video. It's very, very nonchalant, very, very boring. Not fun whatsoever, I'm sorry. Um, content is like that elusive unicorn that I keep chasing and can never find. You know, just when you think you found it, no, you didn't. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, putting up with my weirdness, my randomness, my shenanigans, everything I say, do, a eat, break, and wear on my channel, and bore you with on my channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!